Introducing the BME AI Studio mobile app. It's a companion app for BME AI Studio that supports us with recordings of gas data in the field and with live testing and demonstrating our trained algorithms. The app is designed to work together with the BME 688 development kit and is available for iOS and Android. Let's take a look. I've already installed the app from the App Store, so let's open it up. The app connects to the development kit using Bluetooth. The home screen of the app is the My Boards screen, which is a list of all our boards. Let's start by adding our board to the list. Connect the board to power and select Add New Board in the app. The app will now search for available BME 688 development kits nearby. Here it is. Let's select it and give it a name. This board is now permanently saved in our list of boards for easy access. If needed, we can also add additional boards and give them different names. From here, we can now easily select Connect to establish a Bluetooth connection from the app to the board. Once we're connected to our board, we can choose between two modes of operation, record and label data, or live test algorithm. Let's take a look at record first. In this mode, the app supports us during the recording of gas data. We can see the state of all eight sensors, check the incoming raw data, and we can label our different specimens on the fly during the recording. Labeling with the app can be especially handy because our labels and descriptions will be saved on the SD card along with the gas data. So later on, when we import the data into BME AI Studio, everything will already be neatly sliced into our specimens. Remember, before we can start, we need to export a configuration file from BME AI Studio and save it on the SD card of the development kit. Once we have done that and we've powered on the board, we're good to go. Let's select OK. During the recording, we see this animation on the top of the screen. It consists of 8 times 10 dots. Each dot represents one of the 10 steps in one of the 8 heater profiles used for the 8 sensors on the board. The vertical movement of each dot represents the stability, or variance, of the recorded signal of the respective sensor. The more movement, the more variance in the data. The less movement, the less variance in the data. The preferred state is the one with the least variance, so we want to make sure to wait until the dots have little movement and record that situation. Below that, we can add labels to our recording. Simply select New Specimen for each new specimen and select the Edit button to enter a respective label and comment. We can see the start time, duration and number of recorded cycles for each specimen. Each of the blue bars represents one recorded duty cycle. The higher the saturation of the bar, the more stable the recorded data is. We can set a new specimen for each individual gas situation we record. By selecting raw data on the top, we can also access the incoming raw data, the heater profile with an indicator for the current step, the recorded raw data, as well as the recorded environmental data with temperature, humidity and pressure. We can select a different sensor using the drop down on the top of the screen. Now let's take a look at the second mode. Live test. With this, we can run a final algorithm on the development kit and use the app to see the prediction of each sensor in real time. This is great for a quick test of an algorithm or for demonstration purposes. In order to be able to select this mode, we need a trained algorithm which we've exported from BME AI Studio. We need to save two files on the SD card, the BSEC configuration file and the AI configuration file. In this mode, the board is not only recording, but each sensor is also running our trained algorithm, trying to make a prediction about the current gas situation. The graph shows us the current prediction for each sensor on a timeline. As time passes, the timeline moves automatically from right to left. We can also go full screen and see the prediction per sensor. Swipe left or right to switch between sensors. Below the graph, we can set a ground truth for reference. So let's place the sensor near to our coffee, set the current class accordingly and see what happens. The graph above will now show us which of the eight sensors is making a correct prediction and which isn't. <laughs>